rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, old Tanji. Today is Thursday, December 6th. I'm Bennett Zeitner. And I'm Sarah And you're watching Tanji Today. The Beacon Blanket Drive is running this week. Bring new or gently used blankets to the Journalism Lab, room 2506 or 2511, to give back to our community in this way. And now over to Will and Steph for 30 Second News. What's up, Will and Tanji? I'm Steph Frank. And I'm Will McGraw. And this is your 30 Second News. Last Wednesday, the Senate advanced a bill to end U.S. involvement in Yemen. This comes as a rebuke to President Trump's policy on Saudi Arabia after the murder of journalist Yamal Khashoggi. Since the war in Yemen is Saudi-led, many senators believe the U.S. should not continue to fight after the release of a report claiming the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman directed and orchestrated the murder of Khashoggi. The vote passed 63 to 37, nine months after the Senate rejected the same bill, according to NBC. On November 30th, the 41st President of the United States, George H.W. Bush, passed away at the age of 94 in Houston, according to the New York Times. Bush served as Vice President under President Ronald Reagan and was the father of 43rd President George Bush, Governor and Presidential Candidate Jeb Bush, and four other children. His wife, Barbara, died earlier this year on April 17th, also in Houston, after the two were married for 73 years. Bush served as president from 1989 to 1993 with a 40-year career in public service and was a decorated Navy pilot shot down in the Pacific in 1944. Head coach of Ohio State football Urban Meyer announced his retirement on December 4th in a press conference, according to CBS. Meyer, a three-time national champion, brought Ohio State a title in the 2014-2015 season in the first-ever college football playoff as well as three Big Ten championships and seven division titles. <clears throat> Offensive coordinator Ryan Day, who coached in Meyer's absence earlier in the season, will step up to take the role as head coach. Meyer's final game will take place on New Year's Day versus the Washington Huskies in the 2019 Rose Bowl. This has been your 30 second news. We'll see you back here next week. Go Bucks. And we're back. OHS Student Council is running blessings and backpacks and holiday help this week. We are collecting canned goods, toiletries, and household items to donate to the Delaware people in need. We will be collecting before school at the senior entrance and by the display cases. A complete list of items will be posted on Schoology. See Mrs. Shoemaker or Mrs. Absher with any questions. And now for a short commercial break. Hey Tanji, the week of December 10th through the 14th, Student Council will be collecting money to donate to the Common Ground Free Store, a nonprofit organization in Delaware that provides free clothing, shoes, household items, and more to the people in poverty. Every second period will be given a manila folder to hold donations. Whichever class donates the most money by the end of the week will receive a free pizza party. Ask Ms. Absher, Ms. Shoemaker, or Mara Horton if you have any questions. Good, Good luck! <laughs> Are you stressed about the ACT? Mm -hmm. Then you should join ACT Prep Club. Our first informational meeting is this Thursday in the Learning Center. Hey Olin Tanji, Olin Tanji Decca is collecting supplies for MDA summer camp before winter break. Bring in supplies from the supply drive list on Schoology for service hours. Thank you. Have a great day, Olin Tanji. We'll see you back here tomorrow. So no one told you that was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you broke.